my name is Megan and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you one of my ways that I get out of my vlog. I'm pointing to myself. <laughs> you can't even see me. So my, um, my favorite way of getting out of our vlog is drawing some comfort characters, if you will. That's it for everybody and it's basically just fan art. <laughs> So, um, my comfort characters just so happen to be from my comfort show. <laughs> I think I mentioned this in my sketchbook tour. Um, stumbled upon a show called, um, <laughs> called Miraculous Ladybug, and I've kind of been obsessed with it. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I may have an obsession with it. <laughs> I'm gonna draw. Who am I drawing? I. Okay, I forgot their names for a second, but it's Marinette. <laughs> Casual arms. <laughs> and I just sharpened this pencil so it's nice and sharp. Okay. So. I don't know. I. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna place one. I'm just stuck right head. I think we're gonna color them also today. I haven't used my markers in a while. Maybe I, I, like, I want to like paint them, but um, I don't think I have enough time for that. I also feel like I haven't even filmed a video in forever, like a proper video. Like I feel like I haven't filmed like, like I mean I filmed like two days ago. don't know what miraculous tales of the lake bug cat noir are is um basically i'll give you like a basic rundown it's about a show no <laughs> it's about a superhero <laughs> anyways um the show is about teenagers that are superheroes um Basically, they have these things called miraculouses, which give them their super, 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 super powers. And then with these miraculouses come a Kwame, which is their super power. <laughs> the Kwame is their super power, basically. For example, I just threw my pencil. Um, Cat Noir, who I'm gonna draw, um, is Adrian, that's his name in the show. He has the Miraculous of the Black Cat. So, he'll say Plague claws out to get his superpowers, which the Black Cat has the power of destruction, where Ladybug has, um, the Kwame's name is Tiki, and Marinette is the owner of. She will say um, Tiki. Spots on, I almost said claws out. <laughs> they get a like a one super like power up thing. Ladybug has her lucky charm because um, the Ladybug is the um, Kwame of creation, so that's why they work really well well together. Um, so she has her lucky charm and um, what's his face? Um, Cat Noir has one cataclysm which just can destroy one thing or he can destroy something with one touch. And before you ask, yes this is totally a kids show. So it's very like cliche you can tell like what's exactly gonna happen and it's like that basically for the first two seasons um the first two seasons are pretty i mean they're um something um but by the third season you can tell that the um creators are <laughs> they're just starting to cater towards an older audience especially with the new york special because for some reason the 
um, creators are um, making a world tour kind of um, is that, yeah world tour miraculous world tour I think that's what it's called I'm not sure and the first episode was or the first one of like I don't even know how many how many are gonna there it's gonna be but the first one was released like a month two months ago in September I believe pretty sure it was I'm pretty sure it was September, I think end of September, um, and it was in New York. Um, the next one is going to be Shanghai, which is I'm very excited about, and season four is coming like end of, or like, I think somebody said like third quarter of um, 2021. Another thing uh, about this show is that they don't know who they are, nobody knows who Lady Bug Time War is. Um, um, the main objective is that they're trying to take down the super heat. Oh, ha ha. Jeez. Um, they're trying to take down the um, super villain Hawk Moth, who is the owner of the Butterfly Miraculous. Um, I was going to say something else, but that would be a spoiler. <laughs> They're trying to take down uh, Hawk Moth, which is his name, I don't know if I said that. And um, they don't know who he is, so it's kind of like, you do find out who he is pretty soon, and it makes sense. Um, also, if you, it's on Netflix, um, so if you want to go watch it, you gotta, you gotta hold on, like, it, it starts off. Um, it's definitely a slow start. But then again, it's a kids show. Um, but if you go and watch it on Netflix, episodes are out of order. So apparently, I read somewhere or heard somewhere. I might have watched it if you want. The first episode of the series is actually Stormy Weather, which is second or third on Netflix. In on Netflix, um, but the origin episode for some reason it's like 15th or 16th and I'm not sure about those I'm pretty sure that's actually like the order I don't think those came out first but if you do watch the show I definitely recommend watching the origin episode first because that literally um will explain everything and then all the episodes will make so much more sense basically what you learn pretty quickly is that um, I don't like I don't think that this is a spoiler and if it is I'm sorry but um you learn that Marinette is in love with Adrian in love I say that very loosely because they're like 14 <laughs> or I think when the show starts they're actually 13 I don't know they have a birthday sometime in there but uh, whatever um so Marinette's in love with Adrian <laughs> in love again I say in love very loosely um Adrian, ow, and is in love with, I don't want Adrian, <laughs> no, um, Adrian is, um, in love with, um, Ladybug, Marinette doesn't, Marinette is Ladybug, doesn't like Cat Noir, um, and Adrian doesn't like Marinette that way, at the beginning, at least, it's kind of, like, hard to tell, um, because if you watch the show, you'll learn that Adrian um, isn't the best at expressing how he feels. <laughs> um, yeah, but I really like the duo of um, Marinette and Cat Noir. Just because, I don't know. Just because I think I like the aspect of Marinette knowing that, or Arinette, Arinette, what? <laughs> Marinette, since she's a ladybug she knows like a lot but obviously adrian doesn't know that marinette is ladybug so like i don't know i just like this dynamic and oh like oh i think a lot of people actually like it i have a reference on my computer and i just have a reference of their outfits of marinette's outfit because i don't really quite know what it looks like as much as I love this show, I don't draw them that often. I only really started drawing them at the end of my last sketchbook. So, I'll put it over here.
here so I can still see it, but it's not like distracting. Uh, it's just she wears. Oh, if you haven't, those are the characters. <laughs> you haven't watched the show. Yeah. I don't think I've really spoiled. I don't think I've really spoiled anything. No. I don't think so. I don't know how. To, I don't know what angle I'm trying to draw or individual. <laughs> I don't know what angle this is. So yeah, I just gotta draw a cat noir. There's cat noir. <laughs> Luckily, I have found out that I am not, I'm not the only like teenager <laughs> that watches this show. Cause I found a few YouTube channels that are adults, I'm pretty sure. Um, and they look like they're adults. This show, if you've watched it, it's really infuriating. <laughs> like, it makes a lot more sense now, but it kind of was very irritating. Uh, because they literally look basically the same. <laughs> basically look the same in and out of their masks. So everyone is just kind of like, why don't you know who you are? And who the other is. But is this a spoiler? I don't think it is. So his hair is very spiky. <laughs> I can't draw with you covering my face. She's jealous of this cat no more. Oh are you <laughs> what are you doing? I totally forgot about his little ears. <laughs> Can you believe I forgot? I'm like a little but yeah I think I might be a photo sketch I think I'm gonna go line art it line art this kind of his um I'm just gonna go line art it and then I'll be back to color. Okay. <laughs> um, it's been a few hours. Like, um, as in been a few hours, I mean it's now 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> and, um, I have a feeling I'm good. <laughs> I think, here's the line art. I really like how my internet turned out. I'm talking quiet because it's 11 o'clock at night. Yeah, I really like how it actually came out. I think it's very cute. I added his little pupils. I did pick out all the colors. So here is Marinette's colors. This actually took me like half an hour to actually pick out all the colors. So here are her colors that I'm going to be using. Those Copic markers. So those are marinette, like colors I'm using for marinette. This one, I'm gonna be using for both of them. I use this probably, I think, almost every video. So. And then for Adrian, Adrian, Cat Noir. <laughs> These are the colors that I'll be using. And this is the, this one. And these are the multi-liner or fine liners I used. These two were marionette, these two were Ken Moore. Here again, this is in row wine. This is wine. This is rose. This one is brown and this one is sepia. As always, I realize that I have the colors picked out. So I literally could do this in the morning tomorrow. Um, because I have a free period tomorrow. Well, 
free period. I'm technically supposed to be in class, but really it's a class that I TA for, so I get to leave early every day anyways. So I realized I could just do this during that period in the morning, and I think I'll be a lot happier, ha happier with the results, because I won't be rushing it. So, yeah, that's what I'll be doing. Oh, I just wanted to make a little update. Just in case I forget to say something in the morning. Yeah. I'm gonna go to bed. And I'll see you in the morning. Okay, so we're back in the morning. It's a little awkward because I am filming downstairs. So if I'm talking quiet, that is why. Okay. Okay. Anyways, um, we're just gonna start with this skin. Or was it? Let's start with Marinette. Also, if you wanna write, this is my dead marker, so. We are going to see. that I like Ohu things. Also I read last night Ohu is going to be releasing a pastel set soon. Which it's like listed on Amazon but it says it's not available yet or currently unavailable. So it's not out yet. But her that is coming out soon. That's like in a it's like basically a couple of days in the US. It's coming out like sometime in 2021 and other countries like if you want to read more about it i like briefly looked on it at it like too hard um but they made a post on their instagram account which is like like oh who art i think oh i didn't even i didn't think about her eyebrows This marker is not empty. I don't know what color her eyebrows are. I kind of forgot about that. Don't know what I mean. So the inside of her like jacket thing has like um her eyebrows are like um a brownish color. But I think I'm just gonna make them like one of the blues I use in her hair to kind of be more cohesive, but with the color scheme. These are the colors I'm gonna use for her eyes. Okay, it's bleeding. paper <laughs> so i'm using these three colors for her hair i'm gonna start with a base and i'm just gonna go color the whole thing in with this color <sighs> got to color her ear um her like little 
hairband thingies are red. I'm pretty sure. I'm just gonna color it pink right now. So I don't forget about forget about it. Yay. Um, Jackson. Jackson. <laughs> Also, when I edit my videos, I realize when I'm like saying like, sh like I'm supposed to be saying like shade the eyes, I say shadow a lot. It's embarrassing for me. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this color. I think I might make her eyebrows like this color. I don't know if that really looks like me or like. It really looks like her, but it's fine. So I'm gonna kind of just blend it out. If I blend it out, I'm just coloring over. And I'm gonna go in finally with this one to darken it up. Um. Also, I'm kind of like only doing it like this. I only really oopsies out of frame. I only really thought about doing it like this because um, I've drawn marionette before and um, I didn't like how it turned out. So, but I kind of like the way it looks. It kind of looks like marionette's hair. Kind of like it. Okay. Um, I just finished the hair, and I really like how it turned out. Um, I'm gonna use this gray to color in her shirt. I was gonna use another, like I was gonna use a darker gray, but um, his suit is like basically black, but I'm not gonna use black. Personally, I think it will look better if I use like um, grays, so then it'll kind of go more with the color scheme and everything but um since they are very close to each other and like literally go over each other i'm just gonna use a lighter gray this and then kind of split it up a little bit so let's like that and then i'm gonna take more of this cool gray because her shirt is like white i believe um but it has like a colors and then she has like some like embroidery on it so I literally have 20 minutes before I get back to class. So I'm gonna start on Cat Noir, but no promises I'm gonna actually finish it. Because, yeah. Okay, so for his skin, I'm gonna be using these two. Okay, I'm I kinda, I really like how Muna turned out, and it's making me happy. So when I did Cat Noir at the beginning of my sketchbook, I'm watercolored. Um. Uh, what's it called? I did like a lot of shadow. I did it again. Jeez. Um, I sh shaded. There we go. I did a lot of shading underneath um, his mask. I like the look. I really want to do more watercolor stuff. But I just like never have time to paint. Well, I have time. I just never find time. Which I probably should. Probably over Christmas break because um, I don't know what happened to his nose. What happened to his nose? Over Christmas break because I literally have um, today, which I have two more periods today, 
and then the rest of my classes tomorrow, which is just four more periods tomorrow, and then I'm on uh, winter break. From, tomorrow's my birthday, so I'm not going to be able to do anything tomorrow. Um, but after that, I have like two weeks off, so I'll probably do some painting stuff. Maybe even make it a video, so then I have like no excuse not to, you know? So, I don't know what happened to his nose, but... We're just gonna avoid that. I'm gonna do his eyes. So, his eyes, what colors did I, that's not his eyes, okay. So I picked these two colors for his eyes. Okay, so this one. This one um, is gonna be his actual eyes. And then the rest of his eyes. Um, I'm gonna take cold gray oh, again and Okay. So for the hair, I'm very excited about the hair. I only have like 10 minutes. I've been so excited to do the hair. Which I'm kind of doing kind of like the same thing I did for Marinette. But I'm going to be using these three colors. I'm going to start with this color and then layer this color on top and then shade with this color. Ugh, I'm going to have to wait until after class to do this because I don't have like really that much time. I could um, in the meantime in his mask. I don't know why I couldn't think of. <laughs> that looks really cute. I'm trying to be really careful and not um, color in, in his eyes and not get too much on his skin. And then I'm gonna take this one. This is cool grade four, I believe. And this is seven. Did I just color someone? So I'm really trying to shade the mask where his nose would be. I'm gonna leave it like that before I ruin it. Um, and I'm gonna go uh, take my calculus, pre-calc final, which I don't think it's really a final. I think it is literally like five questions. That's about the unit we're just, we just did. So I'm gonna do that. And we'll be back to finish his hair in this, so. Um, finally done. I got 14 out of 14. That was actually nine questions. One of them was turning in work, but turning or showing work, but it's fine. So I think I'm just gonna do hair as like I normally do with this one. Maybe.
Okay, so um, I went ahead and did some stuff. I probably sped it up um, because um, <laughs> my dad decided to um, blow the ice maker, blow dry the ice maker, I should say. And um, it was making a lot of noise, but I'm running out of time because <laughs> I have like nine minutes before I actually have to get back to class. So. <sighs> Messages. So basically what I was doing is I laid down a base of cream, this one, and then after that I went over with this one. Because when you put lighter colors on top, they will desaturate the color beneath them. So that's kind of what I was trying to do. Just get kind of more of a desaturated color of cream. And then I went in with toast and what is it? Um, um I can't remember what I was saying but um I kind of just blended the toast out with um bisque and um yeah so I'm gonna use these for his little bell thing I need to do is fill in this area so that's why I'm glad I used like they look pretty similar but um, it's fine I use the um, chisel now I'm done. Okay, so this is a finished thing. Finished piece and um, piece. <laughs> hope you enjoyed, and I hope that if you're in the art block or anything, that maybe this helped. Or maybe this will inspire you to draw your comfort characters because they're pretty nice. <laughs> so yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!